While Americans watch the debate in record numbers, you may have missed the zen moment you need, the elevator for boats, and the fabric that can charge your dying devices. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the world's first three-parent baby just celebrated five healthy months on this earth. Geneticists did it to avoid the birth mom's fatal nervous system disorder, which means now they're celebrating like... Okay. <laughs> Georgia Tech engineers are back at it again with a textile that can harvest energy from simple old movement, even if videos of it working make me feel personally uncomfortable. And it gets energy from the sun's rays. They tested the fabric by driving around with a flag flapping in the wind and then used it to charge something to two volts in a single minute. They said their cheap to make fabric could be used in clothing or even tents which would be a good way to make sure you can document the bear about to eat you when you get too close. Hey Ron, I'm running a furry tractor. If you are traveling past the Three Gorges Dam in China, getting your multi-ton boat from one side to the other has the coolest new solution. The dam recently activated the world's largest ship elevator, which hauls up to 3,000 tons of cargo, 113 meters straight up. That is double the height and weight that the next biggest lift can handle. Plus, it cuts the travel time across the dam from three hours to just 40 minutes. With it, Chinese officials hope the dam will not only generate electricity and protect downriver towns from flooding, but also increase shipping capacity along the river by as much as six million tons a year. And finally, if you are still looking for your moment of peace after Monday's debate, just loop this video showing how different inorganic salts crystallize. Some look like trees, but they all look beautiful. Hang tight, friends. November isn't that far away. But you have but no plan. Educate. Oh, I do. Secretary, In fact, you I have no plan. Come here, a beat look. The community.